So let's take a step back from the theory and talk about the implications of what we have been seeing so far, okay? So just in the previous video, uh, what we saw is that changes, not just in our domestic demand, but also foreign demand have a very strong impact on our economic performance. So here, for example, we had seen that when foreign demand change, it leads to a change in our own demand, or let's say output. So the takeaway is that economic performance of countries are very closely linked nowadays. Okay, so okay, so not every country. So performance of Bangladesh may not very strongly depend on the economic performance of, uh, let's say, Lithuania or Azerbaijan. Sure, but we do depend. Our economy does depend very strongly on performance of, let's say, India, for example, because we trade a lot with India. So the more you engage and trade with a country, the more interrelated your fates are. And if one of you is growing, chances are that the other country will grow. So for example, if India suddenly experiences high economic growth and income of, of, of their people go up, uh, they will be spending more. And some of this spending will be spent on Bangladeshi goods. As a result, our exports go up. So because India has prospered, we benefit as well. And it works both ways, okay? So let's talk about that then. Let's take a case study that's also given in the book. I'm going to talk about it very briefly. We've learned these two things in the previous video. What happens when domestic demand goes up? What happens when foreign demand goes up, okay? Now let's consider a group of countries, okay? Uh, suppose, uh, these are very strongly united countries. They trade with each other frequently and in large volumes. And so their economies are closely tied, okay? Now suppose that uh, these economies are going through a period of recession, okay? And now of course the way out of this recession is by, uh, uh, let me write this down, okay? So we have a group of countries. Uh, they are trade partners. They trade often. Now suppose they are going through recession, and so what both governments, all governments, want is to increase output, right? You want to start producing more that will create jobs that will create income and so on and so forth you want to increase output now here's the thing we are no longer in a closed economy of eco 102 or eco 207 we're in an open economy if the government takes steps to increase domestic demand okay if domestic demand goes up it will increase output. Oh, that's a good thing. Uh, that is what we wanted. But the problem is our net export will go down as well. Uh, so the problem is that by increasing domestic demand, we may increase output, but experience a large deficit in trade. Because what happens is that because all the countries in the region or these trade partners are in a recession, and suddenly if we can manage our domestic demand to grow, go up, uh, we will be buying a lot of goods from other countries. And as a result, output will be going up but there will be deficit in trade. That's, that's a bad thing. So what might a government decide to do? What they might decide to do is that they're going to wait for other countries to implement these policies, okay? They're going to wait for other countries to increase their domestic product, domestic demand, 
which means that our for us foreign demand is going up and if foreign demand goes up output will go up but also net export will go up so at first glance this looks like a much better policy to follow do nothing wait and when the other trade partners begin to develop you are going to experience both output growth in output without harming your net export in fact it will improve this seems like a pretty good thing here's the problem with this okay if all the countries start to follow this no one will do anything and as a result the recession will persist it will last longer than it should because no country is doing anything to increase its domestic demand every country is waiting for a foreign demand of another country to go up so this you see clearly is pretty bad thing as a result uh, what's our solution what solution to this problem solution is policy coordination okay when we have an open economy we can no longer simply focus on the policy of our country we also have to take a look at what all our neighboring countries and what our trade partners are doing and we need to coordinate we need to make sure that we are all following a similar policy that will allow us all to grow together we can no longer afford to just think about ourselves uh, of course, you guys should already understand that this is very difficult, very difficult. We can't even get along with different political parties within our country. How are we supposed to get along with, you know, other political parties in other countries and not just one country, but a number of different countries with different policies, different principles and ways of lives. It's very difficult. There is an interesting uh, few paragraphs given in the book that lists precisely why policy coordination is difficult. Uh, do take a look at it. It's a pretty interesting write-up, uh, but I'm not, I'm not going to go into too much details into it.